Hi, it's me again. Today's tutorial is going to be a very short one. I am going to show you how to draft a Duckbill style face mask from scratch. This is great if you don't have a printer or out of ink. All you need is a piece of paper, preferably with two straight edges. A ruler, but a set square is even better. A pen or a pencil is fine. I usually work in metric. I've included a conversion table for you to check your measurements. We're going to work away from the edge of the paper. Draw a horizontal line about halfway across the paper. Then draw a line vertically on the side, beyond halfway. We're going to measure horizontally. Starting on the left edge, measure across 2 cm. That is 0.78 inches. Then from the left edge again, measure across 11 cm. That's 4.3 inches. Then from the left edge, measure across 11.3 cm. That's 4.4 inches. Now measure up on the side. From the bottom, measure up 7 cm. That's 2.7 inches. Then from the bottom, measure up 12 cm. That's 4.7 inches. You can mark these numbers down as you go to make it easier for yourself. Measure across from the 7cm dot, using the edge of a ruler as a guide if you don't have a set square. This will help you square across the page, making the line parallel to the horizontal line. Make that 1cm, 0.3 inches. Join with the first dot on the horizontal line. At the top dot, use the edge of the ruler again to make it square across. Make that line 7 centimeters. That is 2.7 inches. On the horizontal line, at the 11.3 mark, square up 7.5 centimeters. That's 2.9 inches. Join the dot on the left at the 11 centimeter mark. Join up with a curved dotted line. Join all the other marks with a dotted line. It is fine to do it freehand, but if you have a French curve or a pattern master, it will make your life a lot easier. Draw in the grain line using the left vertical line as a guide. Measure across and just choose a number. I use 9 centimeters. Join the two dots up. This is your grain line. We now need to shape the bottom of the pattern. We are going to find the centre between these two dots, dot number 1 and number 2. Fold over so the dots are touching. Ignore the one on the right hand side end. Crease on the fold. This is the centre. Measure up 4mm, that's 0.1 inches. Draw a curved line touching the right corner. If you're happy with your curved lines, you can now draw over the dotted lines. I am just doing this freehand. This size is medium. The pattern isn't exactly the same as my printed pattern, but it is very close. This is usually the first stage of pattern cutting, before I refine the curves and the fit. Here are the measurements again. Converting centimetres to inches. Make a note of this before you start drafting your patterns. I am not even going to attempt saying these measurements, so best of luck. So now I am going to show you how to roughly draft the other sizes. Without going into too much detail, and this is not how I usually grade up and down, but for demonstration purposes, this is roughly how it is done. Continue with this imaginary curve, roughly 1cm up and 1cm back. That is about 0.3 inches either way. Ignore that number 4 I just wrote, it's supposed to be a letter L. 
At this point, draw an angle. Just measure 5mm up and 5mm below the number 7. Square across from these two points. For the smaller size is 17mm and for the larger size is 2mm. Measure down 9mm to get to the small size. Measure up 1cm for the larger size. If you want it extra large, then go up 1cm outwards from the larger size. From this point, it's 6mm, that is 0.2 inches for the small size. From the same point again, to the left is 9mm, 0.3 inches for the larger size. Continue drawing the line. At this point, roughly 5mm apart, that's 0.1 inches. The lower size slightly lower and the larger size slightly higher. Continue drawing the line. As for the binding, draw 2cm wide. Then choose which size you want to make. Measure the edge. Apply this measurement to the binding pattern. Now draw a rectangle. This is the main fabric. Cut two pieces. Cut two pieces for the lining. If you're making more layers, then you will need to cut multiples of two. Binding is cut two only. So there you have it. It is just a quick draft of the duck build pattern. Do remember these patterns don't have seam allowance. Make sure you add seam allowance to all the patterns before cutting out the fabric. Thanks for watching, please subscribe or follow for more from me at Shani Makes. See you next time.